Now, I'm not sure this is for you, but I'm sure that you can relate to the fact that during the course of your life, we've all had a plumbing disaster. Oh no. And that is a wave. Now my team has put together some great videos, so let's jump in and check it out right now. Okay, so this first one that we get to says, this was the plumbing in a $1.3 million house. Now, I personally don't hang out in a lot of $1.3 million houses. We're not rich! We're rich! We're broke! But I have worked on them before, and I've got to tell you, you go above and beyond to do everything perfect, each and every little step. And this one was put up by Thatcher Homes. So let's check it out and see what we got here. Man, I got to tell you, th this is... Now, I've got to tell you, number one, this is horrible plumbing. You surprise me to how shit you are. Oh, uh, thank you. First of all, right here, this flexible pipe, the, the, God, accordion pipe, whatever you want to call it, this is not allowed because mold, mildew, all kinds of nasty gunk will grow inside here, and it's above the P-trap, so those odors are going to come right back up in your plumbing system. Stinky, uh -oh. Stinky, uh -oh. Then you come down a little bit further and it makes a complete S trap. Now, I don't know if this is blue glue or what it is, but man, either way you look at it, this is just ugly. So that's the first part of this. And it shows you another sink. Now, again, you're creating an S trap here. Now, this is a pretty long arm. I don't know why they did it this way, but here's the deal. That water's gonna come down. Once it comes up and back down, it could possibly suck this trap dry. Then you're gonna get sewer gas smell back up into your plumbing system, something you do not want. What smells rotten and puts people to sleep? Not just gas. Okay, 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 hold on. Now you look here, you got stops, and it doesn't even look like it stops. It looks like there's, I don't know, maybe ball valves. That may be inline stops, but there's no escutcheon. Look at this big, ugly hole in the back of a cabinet. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. 1.3 million people. At this point, you're not getting what you pay for. All right, the next one says, don't ever try this. These can't be real plumbers. And this is from Leanne Wood. By the way, these guys are not from our plumbing company. Not right. Yep. They are trying to use a plunger to unstop a city main. Maybe not a, a city main. They're just trying to use a plunger. I ain't never seen a white plunge clean out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I've cleared two houses before on a clean out. <laughs> <laughs> the guy says he's cleared two houses before on a clean out. Uh, Leanne Wood, I, I don't know where your plumbing company is, but yeah, if I ever catch one of my plumbers doing that, I'm gonna laugh at him, I promise. Okay, that is ridiculous. Now, I will tell you something though. Have you ever seen the blow bags? You know, the bag you put on the end of the water hose, it swells up, creates the seal, and then builds additional pressure on the other side. If you could create a blockage there and then get 80 pounds of pressure on the other side, chances are it'll blow out whatever's there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock it down in there. I've used that, but I have never in my life tried to use a plunger unclog a drain. If you come out and catch your plumber doing that, man, just tell him, say, hey, look, man, I, I think it's time for you to go home. You need to leave. Ooh, pulling a plug on a system with 200 PSI. And he's up on a ladder. I'm thinking, maybe not for long. It's gonna blow, it's gonna blow, it's gonna blow. Number one, why not bleed the pressure off somewhere? Oh. Oh, this is not gonna be good. I say he's in such a hurry, it's already dripping. Let it drip. Let it finish doing what it's doing. Let the pressure come out. I don't mean like this either, because here it comes. Oh.
Oh, did he think he was just going to stick a head in her or something? Man, that is not good. Guys, look, be careful out there. Uh, I know sometimes we think this might be the only way to do it, and you could have hung a bucket right there, undone it, and relieved some of the pressure, do some things. It would have been really easy. Somebody hurt themselves, fall, anything like that. Not very good. You need to always remember, safety first. All right, so we got sprinkler life. Okay, now, I used to be a fire protection person, so I've worked on many sprinklers and got the multi-purpose residential fire protection sprinkler specialist endorsement. That's crazy. Yeah, say that one five times fast. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh no. The waves. Man, that is a wave. Look at that. I do not know what happened here, but Sprinkler Life, uh, a main blowout. Oh my gosh. Man, this is not anything you ever want to happen. Here's the only way to survive a tsunami. Run the other way. Remember, do me a favor, hang around to the end. I'd love to hear your opinion. What is your favorite? And have you seen any of these before? If you've got some pictures, videos, anything like that, go over to Roger Wakefield Post on our subreddit, man, put them over there and maybe they'll end up in here. Okay, we got one here by Hip Magazine. Let's jump in here and see what, oh yeah. I've made a huge mistake. Man. And I love, you hear the, va the vacuum running? Yeah, somebody's out here trying to get the water up Why it's still pouring out like that. And he's just trying to put a stop, put anything on there. Oh my gosh, I cannot even begin to tell you. Can you imagine being in somebody's home and having that happen? What, what, what do you say? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know what I was doing. Am I dumb? When you do something like that, Always think about, it. I tell people all the time, you can't get in trouble with plumbing. If you know how to turn the water off, you turn it off before or after to protect yourself. And this will be the last one. This is from Modern Plumbing Com. Almost lost it. Let's see what they got. Oh. Yeah, it didn't make that trip back up. Uh, trust me, uh, I've seen things like that before. Matter of fact, I dropped a tape measure down a four inch cast iron pipe before, followed the line down, went to where it turned, dropped a section of pipe and pulled my tape measure out. Saved me a little money, cost me a little time. Anyway, do me a favor. Let me know which was your favorite. Mine would have to be from Sprinkler Life. Anytime you create a big enough leak, You've got a wave, man, that is crazy. If you love this one, check this one out. You're really gonna enjoy it.